Hi, my name is Owen Oliver and I work for Square Balloon. This is a tutorial on how to use Microsoft Word to draft your emails and then how to get that content into your MailChimp campaign um, without botching your template. So obviously a lot of people will draft the content for their campaign in Microsoft Word or some sort of text editor that they're familiar with and there's nothing wrong with that, it's fine. But when you copy and paste it into um, MailChimp, it can have some undesirable effects. So if you look at this um, bit of text, it's been pasted in, it has um, a heading, it has a bullet list, um, and it looks fine. And we click on edit, and in this page we see it looks fine. It's a different font, but okay, we think it looks fine because over here it's the right font. Um, if we click this button, it shows us our source code, and that's when we start to see it's got a div, it's got a text align. Um, if we go down, it's a align center, a size 2, it doesn't mean very much to us, we don't know what that means, but we see it makes it bigger. And text align center is here, font size 24 is here, so where here is size 2, now it's using font size, so a mixed combination of uh, sizes. Um, and you can see that it's basically put in quite a lot of code, a strong which make it um, bold. Um, it's put in quite a lot of stuff that we didn't realise was there. So um, how can we fix that? Well, here's another text one. If we look at this, we see nothing here, just plain text, which is great. It's exactly what we want. So we've got our Word document. We've selected it. We've copied it. Um, we go to this button, paste from rich text editor and we paste it in there, we press OK and then we have a look and you can see it's pasted the H1 which tells us it's heading um, and it's pasted uh, a BR which is a line break which has just put this part here where it's uh, gone round to the next paragraph um, but other than that it hasn't pasted all of the you know the, the formatting stuff uh, another option we could have done is to paste it from uh, if I just clear the rest of that stuff. Uh, if we paste it from plain text editor, and that's different again, now we see we've just purely got text. Um, there is a h1 at the bottom which was already because of the last paste I did. Um, so we've got a, a break there but we haven't got any formatting tools, we haven't got any h1s or paragraphs or anything like that. Um, so my advice would always be to use the paste as plain text because we don't really want a H1 in our email unless we've styled a H1 in our email, which we may not have done. Um, and H1s are not really that consistent across email clients. So personally, we don't really use H1s. We would normally style... Um, we might use a H1 class on a table or something like that to style it. Um, but we wouldn't actually use the H1 tag. So my advice is always use the plain text editor. Um, plain, paste as plain text. Um, while we're here, we've got these bullet lists. Bullet points do not consistently display on email clients. They're really inconsistent. They could have a variable amount of spacing, padding, stuff like that. Um, we tend to not to use them. Um, if you've got a custom template made by us, we've probably created a bulleted list um, module for you within that. That's what you should be using for your bullet lists uh, and not this. Um, if we look into this one, we'll see that the code for it is um, using ULLI, which is the, the standard code you would use on a website, and it works pretty well on a website. In an email, it doesn't work so well, so we would advise against using that style of coding um, and use the module we've created for you. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, basically, the main lesson is click on paste from plain text, paste your code in there, gets rid of all the nasty code, and your emails will come out great across all the clients, and it will use the formatting that is within the email template rather than overwriting it with its own. Thanks for listening.